y'all welcome back to my channel i am jess with jess's magical memoirs and today we have our disney plan with me in my catch-all planner for the week of september 25th to the 30 oh to october 1st <laughs> So if you want to see how I'm planning for our Disney trip week, stick around because that's coming up right now. Okay, planning fam, welcome back. And like I said, in this video, we're going to be planning for our Disney trip week, the week of September 25th to October 1st. Quick PSA, if I sound like I'm talking a little funny, it's because I am. Um, I'm currently on antibiotics for a sinus infection, but I am all swollen. Um, I'm swollen in my glands and my jaw, my nose, and it almost feels like it's like kind of like dipping into my lips a little. Hopefully this thing resolves itself before we leave in a few days because uh, I really don't want to get worse while I am in Florida or on the plane. So let's just keep our fingers crossed that this all resolves itself in the next few days. So by the time you guys are seeing this, we will be in Disney. So... This is kind of like my little filler video while we are on vacation. I am planning this on Thursday, the 21st, and you guys should be watching this. It should be either Tuesday or Wednesday as of today. So <laughs> hopefully all went as planned. For this spread, I am going to be doing a villains spread. We are going to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. I have like a cute little like Maleficent shirt and my husband is wearing an Ursula Roosevelt's. So I figure this is kind of like the perfect way to do this. You know, we are celebrating fall slash Halloween in Disney and we are going to the party and I was like, I have to do a villains theme. I have to. So we're doing like a little Halloween in September spread and I have both my villain sticker books here. I'm mostly going to be using the ones from the big However, I do like some of like the some of like the smaller boxes and these little ones that are in here. We're not going to be using any of the hollow in this spread. I did do um, a hollow villains spread in my Disney dailies plan with me. If you guys didn't see that video, I'll link it down below and in an iCard for you. you can go and check it out. Um, but that was the most recent video that you guys should have seen besides this one. So. And then I'm going to be pairing it with my good old Mojo Jojo Black Boxes book. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, my catch-alls, as you guys know, have been basically just like major events. So I'm not exactly sure how I'm planning this one yet. I don't know if I want to just do like, like a days type of thing. So like Monday, where are we going? Tuesday, where are we going? Wednesday, we might have a dinner reservation. I think I'm going to do it like that. I'm not going to go in and put in like all the details because that's already in my micro and in my Disney dailies, which I are all done and ready to go. And I really just don't feel like reiterating any of that a third time. So I think we're going to keep it going as I have been doing it and hopefully it comes together. So let's pull these pages out and we'll get started. Okay, so since this uh, planner is staying home, this is not coming with us on the trip, I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to input uh, my kids' stuff in here like I normally do anyway. That way my sister actually has this to look at in case she needs something else to reference. And I'm also going to put like our info in too so that way she knows like where we are, what we're doing that day. It's just going to be kind of like a home base for her while she's here. I think it might really help her and hopefully she's she's okay with that. So I'm going to be using my Mickey Bat Washi and I think for this one I'm going to put it down the middle. Um, I have been like doing it here and here, but because I think I'm actually going to need a lot of boxes, I'm going to do it this way. And I don't do this often anymore, but I think this is a good way to kind of leave a lot of space for decoration and information for my sister. So, yeah. So I would love to hear in the comments what you guys are most excited about to see from our trip. Um, I know it may not sound like I'm excited, but I am. I, it's just my face still is really sore, y'all. So I'm like trying not to like 
open my jaw too much. Even just like talking to you guys normally is, is, is uncomfortable. So doing this video for you guys is not the easiest thing for me to do right now. But yeah, I would love to hear what you guys are excited to see from our trip. Um, I have a few different videos coming for you. I decided I am just going to do like kind of like a combination video, a compilation video, sorry, a compilation video of all of our days. I just felt like that would be the best way to do this. Why does this not look right? Oh, it is. Okay. Um, I felt like that would be the best way to do this trip and then, sorry, and then what I'll do besides that is I'll have a separate video for our Mickey and Minnie's Not So Scary party night. And I think what I'm, I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided on the Animal Kingdom thing. So me and my husband are thinking of doing like a snack challenge at Animal Kingdom. And I was going to actually record a separate video for that. Just doing like our little snack challenge around the park. I don't know. I'm kind of up in the air if I want to keep that separate still. Or if I want to just input that into the compilation vlog. Um, you guys will find out <laughs> what I end up doing uh, when you see the video. But, but yeah, we're doing a snack challenge. We're going to Mickey and Minnie's Not So Scary. We have um, a really fun thing planned for Tuesday at Epcot with my friend Erica. Can't wait to show you guys all the details from that. And what else? What else? Oh, we have dinner at Morimoto. Just a lot of fun things that we're doing that are going to be new and exciting. And I'm really looking forward to just hanging with my husband and it just being us. He's... My husband's really stressed right now at work. He's um not having an easy go this week. So I know that he's just ready to ready to be there already. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is put a black box on the side here. Let's see. Yeah. And this is gonna be for the practices. I already have everything written down on a separate piece of paper for her on the fridge. But I do that. I do know my sister is a bit of a planner, just like me. She doesn't plan like this, but I feel like this might help her. So I'm going to write it here too. And then actually, you know what? Let's put some washi here too. This way she can kind of see it laid out in calendar form. Yeah, super cute. I love that. Um, let's get like a fun little, like, let's maybe use one of these, maybe. I'm kind of loving her with the drip poison apple. I don't know if it's going to fit though. That's perfect. And then maybe we'll do like, a, do we have like a little quote maybe we can use? Not a big one, just like a little one. So here we go. They're not clear, but feeling villainous. I like that. Yeah, that's really cute. Um, I should decide what marker highlighters I'm doing for this spread. We're definitely doing a dark gray. I feel like purple is in so many. Either that or like a hot pink. Or like a green. Oh, this is so cute. I love that. I kind of want to use that. This is the big sticker book. This is kind of bad, you know what. I kind of love that. I don't want to do any foil, so trying to think what do we have going on we're home I actually have some stuff going on this weekend maybe I could put this like in the middle I know that I have something going on I know I do I just don't know I don't remember what time it was at I think I'm just gonna put it over both and then we'll just layer boxes as needed that's cute okay so I think do this yeah I guess we're gonna do black and green like a dark gray and a lime green this doesn't seem dark enough I feel like 
That was pretty dark. Is that the right green? I almost wonder. It's not really that either though. It's like a, it's like a haunting green. It's kind of, nope, it's not that one. I have a lot of green, y'all. We'll get there. That might be it. That might be the green. Either that or it's gonna be this one. Ooh, which one is it? Let's figure out, it's, it's one of those. It's one of those. Let's see. All right, so we have the gray. Right? And we have one green here. I think it might be that one. And then we have this one. I'm gonna go with that one. I think this one would be a little bit too foresty. We're going to go with these two. I think that's going to look cute. All right. Um, flight. We're going to do us leaving with the flight up here. And we're leaving first thing in the morning. So I'm just going to. Just so you guys know, this is going to be kind of like a really boxy spread, but I'm kind of okay with that because, like I said, like I know I keep saying this, but my sister's really going to need all of this info, and I want it separated for her. And then we're not getting home until late on Friday. So we'll put that there. Okay lights are done. Then we have our dinner reservation Monday night. And then I think that's all I really need to put for that day. Let's use a villain stick. Uh, actually, no, because she's already there. Dinner is kind of late. We're going to put it like right around in the middle here. Like that. And then Tuesday, what do I want to notate for Tuesday? Tuesday is going to be Epcot and Hollywood Studios. I'm almost thinking like should I put like, how do I want to do this? I have something right. All right. I want to signify our meetup with Erica. So should we do, uh, should we do Scar? Oh, you know what? Let's do a Hades. Should we do a Hades? Let's do Cruella. Let's do Cruella. And we're going to put this right around here. Because that's about... Time. All right, and then I'm trying to think, and then maybe we'll mark Mickey's Not So Scary with another villain sticker. That's like somewhere over here. Should we do Jafar? Right around here, I would say. Yeah, I like that. Um, let's do another one of these boxes on Wednesday. First thing in the morning again. Because we have a breakfast reservation. And then we have a reservation this night too. Put it literally right under this. I don't usually like line up my boxes like this, you guys. But for my sister, that's why I'm doing it this way. Um, okay, so those are our three reservations, our food reservations. Now I'm just trying to debate, do I want to mark off which park we're at? I could write it with the markers. Oh, now we have to do the schedule for the games and stuff. Hold on one second, you guys. Okay, so my daughter has a game from four to five on Monday. And then she has another one from 4.30 to 5.30. Tuesday. Okay. And then over here is going to be the practice schedule for her, the practice schedule for Colin, and then my son's work hours. So I'm kind of thinking, should we use villains stickers for that? We can do a Mal. We can do this green Mal for one. Kind of like start it up here. You know what? I probably should write it in because I don't know where the next one's going to be. 
So let's do this real quick. Okay, I don't know Aiden's schedule yet. So, um, can we do, I kind of want to do Ursula, but yeah, like I feel like we need another like purpley color. Um, Aiden's schedule isn't too bad. I can probably fit it like right around there. Like that. And this one's going to be. And then we need one more from Skylar. All right, I'm going to color these um, in and then highlight this and I'll be right back. Okay, so far so good. This is looking really, really cute. I was debating before I got distracted with that if I wanted to write which, which parks we were going to be at at which days. And I think I'm going to do it with the marker. It's probably going to be a lot, but I'll go in and add pen with it. And hopefully that'll kind of ease it up or soften it up, maybe the better term. So I'm going to speed you guys up while I do that and then I'll be back. Okay, so I went in and did my little days, and I think it looks really, really cute. I'm really liking this. So now I'm just gonna, yeah. Why don't I fill in my bills for this week, and then I'll go in and fill in the practice schedules and the boxes, and speed you guys up for all that, and then we'll come back and we'll decorate together.
All right, you guys, I finally got everything written in. I'm pretty sure that's all of it. Just really quickly, I'm going to go through it with you guys. So that way I can kind of like talk myself through it to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. So Monday we leave. That's our flight. We fly, arrive. Um, Skylar has her game at four o'clock for my sister. And then we are hitting Disney Springs in our dinner reservation. Good. Um, Tuesday is our park hop day. We're doing Hollywood Studios in the morning. Um, just a reminder for my sister that my son has a field trip that day. And then after the morning chunk, we head over to Epcot. Reminder for Skylar's second game for my sister. And then we have our special thing going on. And then the rest of the night's kind of... I didn't put food and wine in there. I didn't think it was that pertinent. Then Wednesday is our Magic Kingdom day. So we've got um, Crystal Palace reservation in the morning and then I just wrote Magic Kingdom and we're literally just doing all the things. And then, so we've got a lot of room there for deco. And then the 28th is our Disney Springs and party night back at Magic Kingdom. Um, I didn't write any details here in the morning. It's kind of just a little, I don't have to, nothing's like pertinent. Then Magic Kingdom, I wrote the party information and then we're supposed to have dinner at Skipper Canteen that night. And then the next day is Animal Kingdom and we have, we're going to be doing the animation experience in the morning. So I wrote that in there because that is the show that I would like to get to. And then it's just like pool, get ready, go home, and then the flight at night. So I think that that's good. I didn't, I didn't put in the information for like the pool at the hotel because I'm not 100% sure if we're going to be able to do that. So, and then we just have like a couple other things at home and then the bills I think it's good so now we can have fun decorating I do want to use let's go in here for a second like we have like some clear stickers that I'd really like to use um I feel like maybe this one oh that's his pose there though although we could put this here that's a possibility um I do feel like we should do like a sticker over here not scar though um either cruella or hades or ursula maleficent so so you guys should know this about me but i'm all about balance so over here we have maleficent and scar and technically we have hades character even though it's not hades and we have jafar and then over here we have ursula scar again so i don't think i have to repeat scar um, Maleficent's over here again too and then the Evil Queen so I would like to bring the Evil Queen over and Ursula over and then maybe Hades over here let's see what we've got I'm just thinking for like a little sticker here it might be good for the Evil Queen we do have these two which I think are super fun but I don't know how I feel about like I don't know if I want to do the blotch paint look I did that in my daily we do have some quotes here, which actually this Ursula one might look pretty cool right here. Kind of like this feeling witchy, or like this is my the, this is my happy face one. It's still cute too, which that could be cute right there. Maybe we'll put this like right here. I kind of love that. So that carries that over there. I know I probably shouldn't repeat Scar again, but I. I Probably not gonna fit though, even if I wanted it to. I do have this one. I almost think Ursula should go over here. I love this. I kind of love that. All right, let's, oh, she could look, this one's really cool too, hold on. That kind of is like perfect for that spot. I kind of love that. <laughs> <laughs> all right let's i may not be using quotes guys i may not be using quotes i kind of love hades too maybe we should do hades as a oh my god i feel like it would look so good right there though and then maybe we could put scar up here or we could put the this hades character over here his smug's pretty fly pretty fly for a white guy all right and we have our gorgeous Maleficent too. There's too many choices, you guys. Too many choices. I'm just seeing. I 
I don't know, I kind of like that. Oh, what do you guys think? I kind of like that. And then maybe doing something like this for Mal. Let me see. I mean, I do have this hot pink one. I know that I have this one and it would fit there, but I don't know if I want to do another lined sticker like that. You know what I mean? Let's put Cruella on the other side. That's what I want. She's going to go over here. Fabulous, darling. <laughs> okay. So who do we have left? We have Maleficent and Jafar. I actually don't think there's Jafar in this big one. Let's go with this one. That's better. Okay, I kind of like that. Who have we not used? We just haven't used one of these. I could just do this Feeling Wicked one. That, it's kind of cute. Okay, this is turning out to be crazy. I need something pink. And then maybe a touch of blue with Hades. I just feel like I'm missing colors. I don't know. Should we just go in with black? Maybe black splatters. That might be the best way to do this, y'all. Okay, I think that's as done as it's gonna be. Um, I definitely feel like there's a couple things missing. I kind of, oh, I don't know why this, this spread keeps making me feel incomplete. I feel like I need something here. I don't know like what I'm missing. Am I missing like a tiny quote? This is my black and white sticker book. Problem is, is all the quotes are pretty big. Um, the other thing I can do is use these. Time to relax. That's kind of cute. And then where's the other one? Best day. Like that. And I definitely feel like I need another one balanced somewhere. <laughs> this is my problem. I don't know, maybe we can just put this here. Yeah. I know it doesn't really go <laughs> with the theme of the spread, but it's fine. All right, y'all, we are officially done. Um, I can't go in and put Aiden's work schedule in yet until he gets it, which he'll probably get either Saturday night or Sunday morning. So once I have that, I'll go ahead and put that in, but it's done. It's definitely a little bit more chaotic than I really wanted it to be. And I never thought I would say this, but it's not my favorite. I just, I hate when I have so many boxes and it starts off good and I see, like, I see it in my mind and then it kind of just blah all over the page. I think the other thing too is, I think what's really throwing me off, honestly, is the washi tape being in the middle. I wonder if it would help if I added a little bit of washi tape in the center. I feel like that might have helped 
a little bit, maybe, sort of. So I definitely think that might have been part of the problem. It still isn't as smooth as I really wanted it to be. I hope my sister can understand it, to be completely honest. She might look at this and go, oh my God. So I tried. <laughs> Y'all, the effort was there. Um, the, the most important thing is the boxes and her just being able to read Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. You know what I mean? Um, I had originally thought about doing a kit for this spread. It was an Ursula one. And a part of me almost wishes now that I had done that, but it's okay. Um, I like this side a lot more. Um, there's a little bit more white space. Not everything is so squished as this side is, but that comes kind of comes with the vertical territory when you're doing these planner spreads is if there's a lot more going on on the Monday through Wednesday side, it is going to look a lot more tight because it's smaller. It's just a smaller space. It's a different setup. Whereas over here you have four full columns. You're able to spread it out a little bit further. So I almost wonder if sometimes that's part of the problem too. That's neither here or there now. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this spread. I'm kind of like on the fence. I will point out I do love the colors that I chose. I love the highlighter markers and I do um, like the washi tape. It kind of just goes with everything. This section right here is probably my favorite. And then honestly, my sidebar is really cute. I probably should have done the Maleficent sticker over here and then Hades over here. I feel like that might have made it look a little less crazy. I would go pull it off now, but I don't want to ruin the spread any more than I, than I already have. So, all right, y'all, that's it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, thank you so much for watching the video. I would love it if you subscribed by hitting that subscribe button down below. And I will catch you guys in the next video. And that will most likely, I'm not sure if it's going to be the Disney vlog that's next, but just get ready because lots of fun Disney content still to come. All right, y'all. Happy planning and stay magical.